The public health system in the United States is certainly a multifaceted system. So here to help dissect it all is Dr. Ted Brown. Thanks for your time this morning. Pleasure to be here. Let's start off with what you think some of the key issues are in APHA's history and how APHA has helped to shape public health. APHA is an organization which since the early 1870s has reflected the major developments in American public health. And they have been various and often contentious. So some of the issues in the early days had to do with sanitation, the mobilization of proper housing for people who were suffering from awful tenement conditions, and also was very aware of new developments in science, the emergence of bacteriology is providing good guidance for scientific interventions. So we're celebrating 150 years of APHA. What are some of the lessons that we can learn from the past as we look ahead to the next 150 years of APHA? Well, the basic lesson, of course, that any historian would tell you is that nothing's going to remain the same. <laughs> Things will change. The only thing constant is change. The only thing constant is change. <laughs> and the association has, well, it's actually it's a tension between continuity and change. There is some continuity, of course, in some basic principles and approaches. But change is always going to be on the horizon. And change will always challenge the established view and the established way of doing things. What I think is the genius of the association is that it has figured out an organizational way of accommodating both of those impulses. That is, in the association at large, has really incorporated the notion of the abiding continuities and primary issues and values in public health. On the other hand, as new issues emerge, whether they be about occupational health and safety, child safety, whether substances like tobacco and other addictive substances have public health significance, whether gun safety is a public health issue or not, which the association has now come around. Believe, when these new issues emerge, there's a natural resistance because that's the continuity speaking in. Continuity means a little bit of inertia. That's the way human history works. But against that is an insurgent force of saying, there are new issues, new priorities, we have to address them. Organizationally, the way the association has acknowledged that is by allowing the creation of special interest groups or caucuses that represent the most uh, eager and energetic advocates of those positions. So the Maternal and Child Care Caucus, and an Occupation Health and Safety Caucus, and Environmental Safety Caucus, et cetera, really being the channel for those new interests to come to the mainstream of the association. And that wonderful tension between them is what keeps this organization so, so vital. Wonderful. Dr. Ted Brown, thank you so much for your time this morning. <laughs>